It's been dubbed the most remarkable British air attack since the Second World War. It's certainly the longest range bombing raid ever conducted. The target was the airfield at Stanley in the Falklands, which had been taken over by Argentine forces on April 2nd, 1982. The Vulcan bomber took off from Ascension Island on an 8,000 mile round trip. The men who did it told the Channel 4 documentary it was far from simple. Almost a one way ticket. I didn't really see how we could survive it. Monty Python couldn't have done it any better. Gulp, yes, it's us now. And a lot of the work was done on a five pound pocket calculator bought in Swaffham Market. What, what can possibly go wrong? And then it did. Well, they were talking about the Black Buck Raid, a remarkable piece of military history which Roland Wright White wrote about in his book Vulcan 607. Hello, uh, Roland, good to Hi. see you. Um, just tell us a bit about those characters there, who they were, because they were nowhere near expecting this kind of mission. Oh, no, they? they certainly weren't. I mean, they were all looking forward to, uh, to their next postings. Um, the Vulcan, uh, at the time uh, of the Falklands War, was three months from retirement. So uh, they were already, uh, n they already knew where they were going to be going in um, sort of three or four months' time. And, uh, you know, the very last thing they expected uh, uh, as members of the Vulcan force at that point was to be going to war. So how did it come about and why was it deemed necessary? Well, uh, it was really the range, I suppose, um, that... that that made made the Vulcan the focus of the RAF's attention and the victors as well, the um, the, the airborne tankers, because the the um, Falklands, four thousand miles away from the nearest uh, um, RAF airfield at Ascension, uh, was simply beyond the range of anything else in the Royal Air Force at the time, and mm -hmm. so we were very lucky to have a chief of the air staff in Sir Michael Beetham, uh, who's career after flying um, uh, bombers during World War II uh, had taken, uh, taken him on to the tanker force um, and he'd been a pioneer of uh, air-to-air refuelling uh, within the RAF and so he had the imagination to sort of mm. conceive that um, a, an attack using the Victors and the Vulcans against Stanley was possible. A and the longest range bombing raid in history. Uh, absolutely. How yeah. was it planned and how was it conducted? Well, I mean, the planning uh, had to be done incredibly quickly, uh, and nothing like it had ever been done before. Uh, and what they had to do uh, in order to make it possible was to try and get one bomber down there. I mean, they certainly in the early days thought maybe we could do a, a couple. I don't know we've got a, an image of it Refueling here. was key, wasn't Refueling it, obviously? Refueling was absolutely key, and it took uh, 11 different uh, uh, Victor tankers to get one Vulcan down there. And what they were really trying to do is the the tankers refueled each other, was get as much fuel as far south as they could. And watching that, it's amazing to think that no one actually crashed doing those kind of well, manoeuvres. No, I mean, it's uh, extraordinary. I mean, it's a little bit like trying to tailgate a car on the motorway at night with your headlights turned off. I mean, you, know, <laughs> you wouldn't, wouldn't, wouldn't recommend about, it. it. No, not, not at all. So at the early stages were fraught with difficulties. Absolutely. How wrong could it have gone? Well, I mean, the, the, when you look at the, the images there, you realise that mm. there were a hundred things that could have gone wrong and, and, and a number of things went badly wrong. I mean, a refueling probe snapped. Uh, the, uh, the the Vulcan that was supposed to conduct the raid uh, had to return to base unserviceable. So it was the reserve crew. Martin was the, the reserve Martin captain. Martin Withers, we have a picture who, of him yeah, and, and, and his crew. Yes, a surprise for him. A great surprise for him. He's expecting to be having a, a, a beer hours before he even got to the Falklands. There he is in the there middle, is isn't he? with the rest of his crew. In fact, that's the, that is the all of the crew that, uh, that made up, uh, with the exception of, uh, of um, their... Uh, uh, tanker pilot who flew with them. So how close did it come to disaster? Well, uh, for the Vulcan, um, not that close because mm. they knew the Vulcan was going to be short on fuel. But in order to make the raid possible after this refueling probe had broken, two of the victors had to swap places. And it meant because uh, they weren't able to transfer fuel in the way that they had hoped to, that one of the victors gave away more fuel uh, than they knew uh, they could afford to and still make it home safely. And so had they not been uh, working out what had happened on Ascension, that victor would have ditched in the South Atlantic. Mm. And so it was only really inspired guesswork that managed to bring all those and jets And clearly home. inspirational to you. Thank you very Absolutely. much for coming and talking to it's us about It's a great pleasure. Thank you. Thank you.